so you can hear them calling my name I'm all over the place, I can't sit in one place I'm not ashamed at all Still finding myself Oh ho, what's up YouTube? This is Chad here coming to you from Honeycomb Fingerboards. Coming at you guys with a little update video. What's happening? So, this is pretty much not gonna be the most exciting video. So I'm gonna try to do a lot of crazy shit like this to kind of spice it up. All I'm really gonna be doing is swapping out decks. What's happening? And then laying down a second coat of clear on our decks. Yeah. Just kidding guys, I can only handle that for about that long. But I'm gonna go ahead and head out to the garage right now and basically get started on that so yeah I'll meet you guys out there later well all right so back out in the garage and I went ahead and took our deck out of the mold from last episode the zebra wood looking pretty fresh so I got the little marks lined up on there already holes tapped so that's good and that's being set off to the side for more decks to come so I have our other decks over here from last episode, which have their first coats of clear done, and they're also looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do with those, which is what I usually do, is I take this, uh, yeah, I believe it's this one, this uh, foamy pad, which is kind of a bit more used than the other ones, and I will kind of buff these, these decks up and get them kind of smoothed off, and then ready for the second coat of clear which I already have the bottle sitting in some warm water because it's pretty cold out tonight it's about like in the 40s right now so warm water to heat up that heat up that clear coat will definitely make this um, second coat go down pretty smooth so grab a glove and yeah get some glue laid down on this deck so here we go Hmm. All right, so I got my glove on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my glue and get some get some glue laid down on this deck, so I can get it ready to put in the press. And this deck is gonna be a African mahogany, and then maple, and then some more of this like that ice blue stuff from the last deck. That in the middle, little more maple. And then an African mahogany up on top with our honeycomb print. So I'm going to get this glue laid down so we can get this squeezed up in the press. Alright, so there we go guys. Got the deck in the mold. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the press. Made sure to put the graphic on top, so we're good on that, guys. So here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze this thing. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go, guys. Deck is squeezed in there. It's looking good. So that's good to go till tomorrow. So now what I'm gonna work on is use my little foamy pad to get these things smoothed up, and then getting the second coat laid down so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that stuff boom all right so got the decks all sanded up and they're definitely feeling a lot smoother and I'm sure some of you guys are probably thinking like what the heck are you doing you just now clear coated your deck why are you trying to sand it again you know aren't you just scratching it all up again and yes but some of it and I'm here I'll try to explain to you guys a little bit all right so here we go guys this is probably the best way that I can try to explain this here come on come on there we go so the top is basically like the grain in the wood if you were to like look at it like microscopically like wood has grain in it which is like little divots and you don't know, separations in the actual fibers of the wood. So basically what we're trying to do is get those fibers, you know, filled up. So how we do that is with clear coat. So what I do with the first coat, you can kind of see 
is you know fill in those little divots with clear coat and then what I'll do is it'll all be you know covered in clear coat but I'll just sand off just the top layer and then leave the divots filled with clear coat reapply another coat of clear coat and fill in those divots some more so after you know if you can kind of imagine in your head after a couple coats you know it gets completely smoothed off so that's what's going to make it look you know nice and glassy like and reflect off light you know really smoothly and symmetrically so that's what i'm trying to do there with sanding off you know between every coat you know i'm not trying to scratch up the actual decks i'm just trying to make it smoother so that that last coat of clear will go on perfect so i'm gonna go ahead and take my clear coat out of the warm water there feeling pretty good so i'm gonna get these decks hung up and ready for the second coat of clear coat so here we go got our decks all hung up so they're ready to be cleared so i'm gonna set the camera down and get that going and pick back up whenever we're done and there we go so second coat is down still got my mask on here so sorry if you can't understand me too well but these things are looking damn good nice and down a little bit but nice and smooth and glassy looking yep I don't have my other lens with me right now and I really don't want to go outside because honestly opening up the door once is bad enough because I don't want you know to introduce new shit to be floating around in the air and landing on these decks and making them look bad so I don't want to make multiple trips but yeah I'm sure you guys can see well enough with the fish eye to know that these things are looking pretty good pretty good see that black one oh yeah it's a tuxedo deck see ya just gonna pretty much leave these guys there to hang till tomorrow and yeah that's pretty much gonna be it that warm water definitely helped that clear coat went down like butter so smooth but yeah like i said that's pretty much gonna be it for today though guys you know thanks for tuning in first off but as always like comment rate and subscribe let me know how you guys are enjoying the enjoying the videos, but yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it though. Until next time, later, y'all.